What's going on everybody? Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are having a great night so far and a great week so far. I've only got a few minutes tonight, so I'm just going to do a quick video on highlighting another one of the things I love about Herb's Luft. Um, if you haven't watched my channel or you're new to my channel, um, you might not know, but Herb's Luft is my favorite window manager. I think it's one of the best out there. It doesn't quite get nearly enough love. Um, if you are somebody who watches, I'm sorry, you're going to have to hear more about Herb's Luft. Um, <laughs> that's just the way it is. I do have more coming out on my void setup with DWM, I just don't have time to do it tonight. Let's go ahead and get into today's video, shall we? Okay, say I've got a terminal launched, right? And I want to split my screen and I want to launch another terminal on the other side. Let's go ahead and get my drop down and we're going to do screen key and we're going to close that back up. Now, to do that, what I have to do is I have to do a mod O, then a mod right arrow, and then launch my terminal. So three key bindings, three steps to get one, one process done. Now, did that take me very long? No, it only took a matter of a couple seconds, but can we do it faster? Yes, absolutely we can. Let's go ahead and blow up that, expl or explode that uh, split. Let's go ahead and not do that. We're gonna quit and quit, kill both those. Let's do it one more time. So we are going to have our terminal all launched. We are gonna do a mod O, we're gonna do a mod right, and we're gonna do a mod shift enter. And that's going to split, change focus, and launch. Now, let's go ahead and do mod R, mod Q, and mod Q again. Now, we're gonna do it in one keystroke. Right now, we are gonna do mod control U. Bang, split my screen, change focus, and launch the window. Wanna see it again? Let's go ahead and quit. Let's start with a terminal already launched. So, we're here, we've got a terminal launched. We're gonna do mod Q, U. Bang, split my screen, changed focus, launched another terminal. Three commands, one key binding. Let's check it out. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. And let me turn off screen key real quick. We don't need that on anymore. We're gonna CD into Herb's Lift. That's my Herb's Lift directory. And we're gonna Vim into my keys file. Now keys is all my key bindings and this file gets sourced in my auto start for Herb's Lift. But let's go ahead and scroll down here. And Herb's Lift has a function called chain. And what chain is, is you can chain commands together under one key binding. So what I have right here, i zoom in a little bit more. What I have right here is HC key bind, mod control U, and then chain, so we call it the chain command or the chain function. And then right here we have the separator. I have to have a comma in between each of the different um, commands that it's gonna call. This is my separator. And then I have split right 0 0.6, which is gonna give me that 60 40 split to the right comma, focus right, so it's going to split it, then it's gonna focus it, comma, spawn alacrity. So we're gonna split right, focus right, spawn alacrity, all with one key binding, mod control U. So chaining key commands, chaining key bindings and uh, commands is just a awesome function of Herb's Luft, and it's just another one of the reasons why I just love it. So let's go ahead and make another one. So say I wanted to be able to change uh, move this window to workspace number two. Well, you might say easy. We just do mod shift two. Okay, well, it moved it to workspace two, but I didn't follow it. Now I got to do mod two. That's going to follow me over to workspace two. What if we did HC, HC key bind, and we did mod, uh, we'll do control I. Now we're going to chain, and then we're going to have our separator be a comma. And we are going to say move index plus one, comma, another separator. Here's our second command. We are going to say use index plus one. And now we're gonna write, we are gonna reload that configuration file. And now when I, before I had to do mod shift two, or let's do mod shift three and then mod three. So two commands to one to move the window one to follow the window now if I do mod control I this should now move this window from workspace 3 to workspace 4 and then follow it over there so let's do mod control I and you can see if you look up here we are now on workspace 4 and we're on that window if I go back to 3 there's nothing there back to 4 here we are let's do mod control I there we are again, it moved it up to the next tag. So one, two, three, four, five. We are now on the fifth tag and that's the fourth. So you can see that by using the chain command, you can string together three, two, one, four, five, however many 
commands you want to chain together. I haven't hit a limit yet. I've tried quite a few um, and they've worked. So it's just a really cool feature that allows you to really cut down on the amount of keystrokes you have to do to complete certain tasks. Another reason I love Herb's Lift, another reason why I don't think it gets nearly enough attention and love. So that's what I wanted to cover tonight. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. Be on the lookout. I do have another video coming out about DWM and Void Linux. We got some more patching to do, and we're going to get this thing looking pretty. All right, you guys have a great rest of your night. God bless.